am Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. And one of the most common requests that I get from my clients is that they want to send out holiday emails. Valentine's Day is around the corner. So we're going to do that one today. I'm going to use Canva to create a really dynamic GIF image. And then I'll show you how I put it into MailChimp to make it the most effective email possible. For this email, I want to start with a beautiful Valentine's Day graphic. Canva is the program that I use to create all of my graphics for my emails. They have a free version and a paid version. If you have not started using Canva yet, there's a link in the description. Click it, go. It's the best. I'm going to start by creating a new design. I'm going to do a custom size of 1000 pixels by 1200 pixels. They have a lot of different templates here and I'm going to pick one that is as simple as possible. I'm going to go with this one today and then I'm going to customize it. For me, this chain is like a little too low in the image. So I'm going to double click on it and raise it up. Well, maybe not that high. There we go. I'm going to grab this happy Valentine's Day text and make it a bit bigger. And then, of course, I need to make it from me. So I'm going to change this text down here from. I'm not loving these little arrows down here, so I'm just going to delete them. And then, as I mentioned, I like to add a little animation. So we're going to go to elements and I'm going to search for hearts. When we were doing holiday ones, I would add snowflakes. Um, for New Year's, I added some sparkle and I'm actually going to add this heart-shaped confetti at the top of my graphic here. And then right up here to this animate button, you can test out all of the different options up here. For this one, I'm going to do breathe. So it just comes in and goes out a bit. Makes it just a little extra special. And now that I'm seeing this all together, I'm actually going to space things out a little better, move those down, move this down. And now I'm going to save it as a GIF file. I'm starting with a template that I already created. If you want to learn how to make your own template, I have a video for you. But I'm going to go here and I'm going to upload that new image that I just created. All right, we've got our image here. It's doing its little GIF animation. I am going to click on this. And if you want it to kind of touch it, the edges here, you're gonna go edge to edge. And then you really wanna make sure that you include some text in your email. So let's put something here. I like to have something here that will get the point across if for some reason this image doesn't load, but also isn't exactly duplicating what you have in the image. So I'm going to say wishing you a wonderful holiday. Now, as far as messaging goes for your Valentine's Day emails, if you are someone who sends out your emails just to keep in touch with your clients and customers, like a newsletter or something like that, maybe you want to send it out on the day of Valentine's Day. If you're an e-commerce company who's promoting products that might be good as gifts for Valentine's Day, at least start a month ahead of time. And maybe you can even recommend that folks forward this email along to someone who would be buying them that gift. Well, there we go. I hope that you and your subscribers have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Of course, the tips you learned here can be used for any holiday. If you want to learn more about MailChimp, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have videos coming out all the time and I'll see you around.